Being black isn't what I'm trying to be, it's what I am. I'm running the same race and jumping the same hurdles you are, so why are you tripping me up? Fuck white. You're black if you're an Oreo, black on the outside, cream on the inside. I feel like I'm not the only one, but I f a lot of people have had these conversations or experiences, and it can be one of the most discouraging things to hear, especially coming from other people that look like you. In my last video, I reacted to a creator talking about his experience of being a black anime fan. And in one of the videos he mentioned towards the end of how being a nerd of any kind, liking anime in any way, shape or form could question your blackness from other people. I even got a comment on my video that said this as well. And I think it's only right for me to also speak from my own experience dealing with this. Now I know in the black community there seems like a bunch of ways that you can like quote unquote lose your black card if you don't know how to play spades, if you can't play basketball, if you talk in a certain way other than being black, if you don't know all of the cult classic black music. You better call. Ghostbusters. You better call Tyrone. Seems like you just lose your black card over anything. And I've had my fair share of these things thrown at me by black people, but also by some of my friends that weren't black, that had a perception of blackness. It felt like in my own experience, I had to have a certain aesthetic to meet the expectations of the people around me. That took a lot of effort to do. And honestly, it didn't work. I went to a majority white high school, but there were a bunch of different ethnicities as well. And you had the black kids and you had the white kids. And I felt myself acting different a lot of times with both of them. I guess you would kind of call this code switching. As a kid, I wanted to just fit in. I wanted people to like me. I wanted to have friends. But when everyone has a certain perception of what it means to be black, then it makes it hard. I had some of my white peers question my blackness or call me an Oreo for certain behaviors I exhibited towards them that my black friends had and I had my black friends take away my black card for some of the same ways that I acted. Like it reminded me of that Fresh Prince episode when Will and Carlton were trying to join a fraternity and Carlton got ousted out because he was not black enough. And mind you, I didn't really consider myself a nerd back then. I knew about Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, but I didn't have the concept of anime back then. I could distinguish myself from the people that were actually into anime like that, and I didn't really identify with them. I was a quiet, small little man with braces and a flat top, with dark skin who could barely dress that ran cross country because running was the only thing I was good at and but like how many african-american people do you see doing distance running now that is a stereotype don't take offense to that but in my context there weren't many but uh, because of a lot of this my blackness was questioned because of how many white friends i had or the way that i talked i was not cool at all i paled in comparison to the cool handsome black dudes in my class I even have my own family members that portray a different idea of blackness even today sometimes i get my black card taken away or in question because of certain things i can't do or haven't been exposed to which is a problem because how how can i get my card taken away for not knowing how to do the cupid shuffle it's craziness but i'm just kidding please don't exclude me from the cookout like me, some of you have had experiences of getting your black card taken away, or you weren't black enough because you like nerd things like anime or Star Wars. Which, I could see why y'all like Star Wars. I literally just watched the first episode today, or the theatrical release of it. That Jones, that Jones fire. And I think I might be a Star Wars fan from now on. Black men and women now got passed up by other black counterparts in their younger years because of the standard that they didn't fit as being what they perceived should be. But let me tell you a secret. Our blackness is expressed in a myriad of different ways that isn't confined to someone else's opinion of it. <gasps> 
black culture has transformed a lot how you grew up experiences you had the people you had proximity to will influence that and it doesn't make you any less black than the next person i don't care who you are for diversity to be within the black community is a great and beautiful thing because we all bring things to the table that we can benefit and learn from unpopular belief i don't care what y'all say you will always have your black card because you were born with it something can't be taken from you if you always had it think of it like this right god has made you the way you are with intention he has given you experiences and he exposed you to culture and giving you people around you to make you who you are today you want to know how to always have your black card to never lose it to never be questioned again to never lose confidence in your blackness know who you are in God's eyes. I really do believe, and you can disagree with me, that's whatever. The best way to view yourself is to give your life to Jesus, to get in a relationship with the God of the universe who came to die on your behalf so that you wouldn't be separated from him. I had so much insecurity from feeling like I wasn't black enough, where I didn't meet the standard of blackness that my peers attained. I sometimes still feel like that, but what has given me confidence to walk in the way god has called me to be to realize who i am in him is to realize that god thinks much of me even if my peers don't he thinks so much of me and loves me that he was willing to sacrifice himself for me so that i would have identity in him i may not know how to play spades i may be terrible at basketball my line dance moves maybe aren't the best but god has given me an identity that the world can't take from me even if that's my black brothers and sisters. You watch anime, you like nerd stuff, you may like other races. That doesn't mean you're any less black. And I feel like if anyone's trying to strip you away from that, those people probably need security in their own identity if they're trying to strip it away from somebody else. Your blackness, my blackness, isn't regulated to how people perceive me or you but it's regulated to how God has created you. And with it, he calls you, calls me to steward it for his glory. And I think he calls that for you too. Black people Some who people sound white. Of course we sound like we've read books before. We're black, black people who sound white. Yes, we watch so anime. What? Have Guaranteed you seen Attack on Titan? So We're black people who sound white. Folk. Of who course they're pleasantly surprised when we come in for the- And all your quirkiness and all the things that make you different from other black people that, that don't view you as authentically black. Black people aren't monolithic beings that have to act or say or think or feel a certain way. Yes, there will be things that black people will get in their own community. I understand that, I get that. But if you have interests that most black people won't like, you're still black. You're still a person of seasoning. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Catch you later.